Simulation mode in FeatureCam. Now that we've got our component in here, we've used the automatic feature recognition to find the features like holes, sides, chamfers, etc. We can now start to examine um, our tooling paths, etc. via the simulation mode. Now at the top here, we've got several options. We've got centerline 2D, 3D, rapid cutting machine. We're just going to concentrate on two of these. First of all, we're going to go for our centerline mode. And here we can change the speed of our simulation. So I'm just going to start nice and slow, click on the play button, and then I'll simulate my tool as it's going to be cutting on our component. We can speed this up at any time while it's running. So if you just want to get to the end and see what the tooling paths look like, we'll just increase the speed. And now we can see all of our tooling paths in 3D representation on the screen. So that looks pretty good. So what we can now do is go a little bit deeper into the simulation and we're just going to use the 3D simulation. Again, we can change the speed of this. So I'm just going to hit the play button and it's now going to do the machining for me automatically. As you can see, we've got the tool holder visible. So we can check for clashes between the tool holder, the device and the fixtures, etc. and our component while it's machining. Once it's gone through all the machining operations, it'll be doing the roughing first and then going through doing the smoothing. And there's our component fully machined and ready to go. We might want to do a few more checks though, so what I'm now going to do is come down into my solid model area. I'm going to select my solid that we brought in from Inventor, and by simply right clicking I can tell FeatureCam to use this solid as the part compare target. And what this is going to do is, is compare the original model with the um, 3D simulated model with all the machining. So to see those results, we're just going to go to show and we're going to do a part compare and we can see the green color is telling us that we're within the boundaries that we set of the machining. So we've done a good job there. It's got with the radiuses. We haven't missed any features. We can see at the moment where the blue highlights are, are features that we haven't actually created yet because we're going to be doing that from a different angle. But everything we've done from the top face looks to me like it's going to be working quite nicely. So now we've done that, we can come out of this. We're just quickly rerun that simulation again, we're going to speed things up a little bit now just to get to the end of it. And what we can do is go to our results tab and first of all we can see the operation list so we can see the order that everything's being done. If we wanted to we can do a manual order and we can just drag and drop these features to a different uh, position in the running order. We can then look at the details of what we've done there, so we've got the operation list and we've also got our tooling list that can be exported as well. And finally, we've got our NC code, all listed in a text file that we can now export directly to a directory or straight to a machine if we want to. So you can see, very, very easy to use, very intuitive, and it's going to give you reliable, accurate results.